Sean Cable joins us now. And Sean, it's days like this that kind of take the sting out of Monday. Yeah, it kind of does. It's a nice day today. And uh, also, you know, I just like to talk about weather that I think most folks are going to like. And I think this is a good forecast. We have, uh, for those of you who have some lawn that may need a little sprinkle, got some of that in there for you and lots of sunshine. And it's a good time for it, too, because the state fair starts this week. We have uh, a big weekend. I mean, August is starting to wind down. Hard to believe it, but uh, you know what that means. Labor Day weekend, kids back at school and all that stuff. The radar's clear. We've got a great evening to spend a little time outdoors, whether you're doing some grilling or maybe heading out for a walk. Not even a cloud here in the sky. We have had a little bit of haze due to that Canadian wildfire smoke, but that's a fairly limited. Right now, 77. Our wind is out of the southeast at 5. The wind continues to be relatively light, and that's going to be the case here the next couple of days as well. We're not expecting a whole lot in regard to wind. Currently 78 in New Ulm, Glencoe, Redwood Falls right up there with you. It is 78 currently in our uh, 76, I should say, in Fairmont. Blue Earth also 76, St. James, St. Peter, 77, Wasika. Our temperature right now at 75 degrees. And uh, here's what's going on. It's going to be generally dry and pleasant through the week, but we have a couple of little systems we're watching. We're watching an upper level system that's going to bring a few showers late tomorrow into tomorrow night. Another system that could bring a few scattered showers and thunderstorms late Thursday night, more likely on Friday morning. It's still a little early to get specific with the timing, but we're going to be watching that. And then the weekend, good weekend for the pool or the lake. It's going to be one of those kind of weekends with uh, mid to upper 80s. It's going to be muggy, mostly dry here through the upcoming weekend. Now, we had a couple of little isolated showers pop up in central Minnesota, west of St. Cloud. We have another mess of stuff way out in South Dakota, and that's the system that we are going to be watching here over the next 24 to 36 hours. We actually have high pressure sitting over us today, and that's going to keep us fairly pleasant. But in the middle levels of the atmosphere, there's just a little ripple of energy that's going to come rolling eastward as we head into tomorrow, and that will bring a few scattered showers, potentially a couple of isolated thunder showers. not really expecting anything in the way of severe weather, but... There could be some rain, especially tomorrow evening and overnight. So here's the hour by hour future cast as we start at six o'clock tonight, taking into the evening. It's going to be a great night to uh, spend a little time outdoors. But here it comes that line of showers out around the James River in South Dakota by six o'clock tomorrow morning. You'll notice clouds increasing a bit through the afternoon as the shower and thunderstorm activity moves east. Now, this stuff is moving into an environment that is not as um, good for rain or thunderstorms. And so our atmospheric environment isn't really good for this sort of activity, but we will see a little bit of this slide eastward by later tomorrow afternoon. A couple of those showers will continue to push east and we may see some of those showers linger into tomorrow night. Maybe a tenth of an inch, a few, maybe two or three spots could get up to a quarter inch of rain and that will be it. Everything will clear out by the time we roll into Thursday, tonight, 58. It'll be partly cloudy. Beautiful evening. South wind at 5. Tomorrow we'll start with sunshine. Clouds will increase a bit into the afternoon with some showers, maybe a thunder shower. Late afternoon into the evening. The further east you are, the later it'll be. It'll be a bit earlier, especially out west of uh, U.S. Highway 71. Here you go with that 10 day forecast. Wednesday, another great day at 76. Thursday, partly cloudy, 76. Friday could have some morning showers and thunder showers. And then into the weekend, warm and humid. Heat index will be back to near 90 or better on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then next week, we'll cool off a little bit, stay mostly dry as we head through much of next week. So a pretty good summertime forecast as we wrap up August. A uh, good forecast, uh, some good weather for being outdoors. Dion Facti.